Hi there. So if you watch any of my videos regularly, you know I do snacks around the world, and one of my favorite things in any snack box I get are gummy bears. And that's an important thing to talk about because today is National Gummy Bear Day. So we're gonna be forming today's travel inspiration around the birth of the gummy bear. But let's back up a little bit. You know, cooking fruits with sugar has been done throughout time, especially through Northern and Eastern Europe. They would have huge harvests of fruits before they would, of course, go into winter. But you know, fruit doesn't last forever, so they needed to find a way to preserve it. One of the best ways to preserve it and store it after the harvest is by creating jellies and preserves. Now that's kind of the idea that went behind gummy bears. Where did gummy bears come from, you ask? Well, they came from Germany. That's right, Germans are responsible for those cute little dancing bears and all the delicious little flavors. This all came about because of a very frustrated candy worker named Hans Reigel, who happened to live in Bonn, Germany. See, he was stifled in his job, he decided to go out on his own and he created these little candy bears. Now the initial bear he created was a hard candy and it actually sold well. But it wasn't selling as well as he had hoped, so he decided to regroup. He started thinking about the different ways to use fruit, and he started thinking about jellies. Now, the gummy bear itself wasn't kind of a totally unique idea. He actually got it from that, as well as an improvement or a blending. I'm not going to say that the gummy bear is an improvement on these things, but he used Turkish Delight and Japanese rice candy kind of as a basis blended in that whole fruit preservation, sweet sugary preserve, and came up with the gummy bear. Hans started the company Haribo, and he actually got the name by combining his name and the name of his home city, Bonn. Hans Reigel Bonn. So I'm gonna to do today's travel inspiration on Bonn, Germany. Bonn is in Western Germany. It was the capital of Western Germany when they were two separate countries. It is situated on the Rhine River. Now it is a place of music, castles, and even a volcano or two, but it is best known as the birthplace of Beethoven. But that's where we're gonna to focus today's travel inspiration, which is the birthplace of Beethoven. They have a store his home and create a lovely museum out of it. And if you're looking for some place to stay while you're in town, Amaron Bonn Hotel Konigshof is a great place to lay that weary head. So tell me what your favorite flavor of gummy bear is below. Mine, believe it or not, is the pineapple ones, the white ones. I'd love to hear what yours is. But until then, please enjoy this travel inspiration to Bonn, Germany.